Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. So good that you come back again. Today's video, I'm gonna talk about Yahoo Finance and how I'm gonna use uh, Yahoo Finance in uh, analyzing my stock. You know, in investing is so important for us to analyze the quality of the company. Okay, we need to look at the financial report. We need to look at the cash flow. We need to look at the financial ratio. So that is a good uh, practice for us to do fundamental analysis before we invest in any company. Okay, uh, and another good thing about uh, Yahoo Finance is that it also provide us with uh, charting, so we can also use that. Okay, uh, probably for those that are uh, familiar with uh, technical analysis, you can also decide to use it as a part of your strategy for entry and even exit. Uh, let's walk through uh, this uh, Yahoo Finance. So what you can do, can uh, you can just uh, go to search, okay, Yahoo Finance. Okay, and then, uh, so this is the link, Yahoo Finance. Uh, of course, uh, if you want to analyze Apple immediately, Tesla, you can immediately go to that, click Yahoo Finance. Of course, it will bring you to the main page of uh, Yahoo Finance, right? Uh, if you're interested to immediately check uh, S&P 500, okay, the US market, the Dow Jones, okay, uh, US market, the NASDAQ, okay, more of the technology stock for US market, you can also click that Russell 2000, crude oil, and also even gold, okay. So you can also look at silver, all the forex, okay, uh, this is a volatility uh, index, okay, and forex and stuff like that so you can actually uh, look at many many stuff so of course uh, okay you can also have a bitcoin a fussy 100 and stuff like that you can, okay uh, nikkei 225 let's say for example we are interested in uh, researching about apple so we can type apple stock okay so apple will pop here so let's select apple it will bring you to the apple page where you can see many many details here right so uh you because now uh, the US market is still open, so you can see the lifetime here. Okay, the market is still open. Uh, it will give you a summary, a quick summary of the financial situation. Okay, it will give you the previous close, okay, the open price for today, the date, uh, the day's range for the price, okay, the 52 week range of the share price, the volume for today, and the average volume. It will summarize with do you the market cap. Okay, and you can see it's almost reaching 1 trillion for Apple. Okay, the PE ratio, earnings per share, the earnings date. Okay, uh, today is actually 13 April, so end of this month, uh, the earnings will be announced. Okay, the forward, forward dividend yield, okay, is about uh, 1.5. Okay, the X dividend date, okay, this is the date uh, where they will announce the dividend. Okay, announced already on February. Even give you the target price okay for the one year target price 193 seems to be lower than the current 198 okay so so there's a many many menu here that you can see so this is a summary if you want to look at a chart okay then you can look at the share price let's click chart and then you will load the chart here of course uh, all the typical things that you can see here you can add indicators so let's try moving average okay so if you click moving average uh, this is uh, one of the technical analysis uh, uh, indicators, right, uh, for trend pattern. So you can click moving average later. You can uh, select either using simple moving average or exponential or weighted and many, 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 many options here. Okay, so I would prefer normally use exponential, meaning it will take into account the latest uh, share price. So uh, I click 50. So I would like to use blue color. Okay, so click save. Uh, so you can see the 50 days uh, exponential moving average has been shown. So I will add more. So normally I will add about three. So let's put this for orange. Right. Uh, one more, uh, 200. Okay, for the long term long-term moving average and uh, let's put that as pink color okay uh, i forget to change it to exponential okay so this is a uh, you can see this is exponential moving average this one i have not edited correctly so you click here i need to change it to exponential right so you write here exponential 200 exponential 
150 right and uh, let's add more indicator normally I will add also MACD okay add MACD this a typical setting fast over average 12 days slow over average 26 days signal period 9 days right so let's click save okay then you can see the moving the MACD is being shown here so let's put it full screen so that everybody can see clearly this is the charting that you can see you can set it for year to date uh, one year two year five year or maximum so maximum it will bring you all the way to 1980 right so let's try click two years so two years you can see it's on the uptrend right so you can click one year currently you can see now the moving average 50 50 days exponential moving average is actually cutting above the 150 so this is one of the sign of a bullish trend is coming all right so this is a charting quick one to click historical data you can actually if you're interested to study more about the previous data you want to do further analysis you can actually click historical data and you can even download all these numbers all the share price you can do correlation plot whatsoever okay you can click profile and when you click profile you will share to you the summary of the background of this company apple is in u.s technology sector okay oh 100,000 employees right and then uh, you will listen to you the key executive okay uh, tim cook right it's a ceo they even list down to you the pay right and the age of the executive anyway let's click to financial and if you click financial it will show you the income statement the balance sheet and cash flow now uh, it's just show to you the income statement you have revenue operating expenses and you can see apple from 2015 to 2018 the revenue have been growing gross profit has been growing as well okay research and development <coughs> operating income right drop uh, cost a uh, Drop a little bit in 260 but it's moving back up right net income all right so you can also click balance sheet and it will show you the current asset the liability current li current liability stockholders equity and of course uh, we are very interested in the cash flow it will show you the total cash for operating activities okay capital expenditure okay uh, it will show you the dividend paid net borrowing right it will even show you some of the analyst research right so you can see uh, let's say current year March 2019 uh, it will even show you how many analysts are giving their okay uh, projection right so earnings estimate $2.36 uh, number of analysts 29 revenue so projecting to be 57 billion uh, and this is a part that I always try to have a quick look from January until April currently it's April you can see that uh, more analysts are actually upgrading okay they're upgrading previously you can see more hope now they are more buy okay less hope so it's a good sign that Apple is uh, it's quite most of the analysts are quite bullish on this stock so you can also see the recommendation okay it's more on the buy Okay, if it's be between one and two, uh, that's a really good. Okay, most of the analysts are bullish, so this is just uh, one of the sign. Okay, uh, that this stock is doing good. Okay, of course, our uh, analysts' uh, research may not be accurate all the time, but it just gives you some indication. In fact, Yahoo Finance also give you the price of the options. Okay, so you have the call options here and also the put options here. All right, so interesting and finally uh, it also show you the holders okay who are the holders you can see that 0.08% uh, uh, shares are held by the insiders 60% are held by institution okay 3856 institution are holding the share and who are the top institution holders Vanguard group okay they hold 7% 53 billion shares okay Berkshire Hathaway okay and everybody know Warren Buffett owned this company Berkshire Hathaway and a few years ago uh, Warren Buffett just loaded plenty of shares for Apple okay so it's a good sign uh, we all know Warren Buffett only select good quality stock up to now 
Berkshire Hathaway hold about 5.29% okay, with uh, 39 billion of shares. So that's interesting. So it will show you the top mutual fund holders. Yep, that's uh, basically it. And let's, uh, before I forget, okay, even in the chart, you can also add some comparison, right? You can even compare with, uh, let's say you want to compare with the S&P, right? So you can also add that and you can see. So let's say, for example, uh, this is from, uh, let's make this a bit easier. This is from 218, but let's say you just want to see some, uh, let's say you want to see how this stock has been performing since 2016, okay, versus S&P 500. So you can see that uh, Apple stock has been uh, growing about 93%, while S&P is for 43%. Obviously, Apple is doing much better okay, than the overall index. So, so that's it for Yahoo Finance. Okay, I hope that you are benefited from this uh, sharing. So do take a look at this Yahoo Finance. I think it's quite a good website for beginners. So, so you can use this to have a quick look uh, at the share price, the financial health, uh, even the analyst research. So thank you so much for watching this video. Do like this video and uh, subscribe to, uh, to my channel. Okay, I have listed down some previous video that you can take a look as well. So I see you around and thank you very much for watching. Bye.